video we will in this video we will be comparing amd's vishera e350 with intel's i7-4770k so we earlier had to compare you may check my other videos where we have compared we had compared i7-4770k with amd fx9590 now the big problem with FX9590 is its huge thermal dissipation power rating at 220 watts. Now FX8350 is has a reasonable thermal dissipation power rating of 125 watts. Uh, and that's why it's more meaningful to look for FX8350. So we will take a look at some of their performance comparison and clock frequency differences and so on and so forth well the clock frequency both of them have eight cores as such i mean intel is not exactly eight core it's four core and eight hyper threading and amd also does not have exactly eight cores but it's technically qualified for eight cores but anyway the clock frequency of uh, 4770k is 500 megahertz lower and uh, if you look at their turbo clock frequency about the same story here there is 300 megahertz clock frequency difference but that brings us to the past mark score a popular benchmarking score which makes 4770k about 10 percent faster than fx8350 now if you are making a gaming desktop computer then the processor differences do not much where do not uh, matter that much as compared to the discrete graphics card that you will be putting in your system the fx8350 is much cheaper and then you can use the money that you save on processor into a decent graphics card at the same time if you look at the integrated graphics in, again in terms of uh, gaming the integrated graphic does not count anymore because the intel's hd graphics 4600 will not be good enough for high-end gaming but in case if you are not using it this desktop processor for gaming you can save uh, some dollars by using its integrated graphics the fx8350 does not come with any integrated graphics you will need a will either need to use uh, the motherboard's onboard graphics capability or you will need to get uh, a discrete graphics card tdp rating as i said even though the intel's 4770k is still much cooler than the fx8350 tdp stands for thermal dissipation power rating you can check about its detail on google but anyway but that's uh, way better than fx9590 which is the highest performing amd's processor in as on in august 2014 so with these differences in power and thermal performance let's check, take a look at their pricing differences we use new x uh, pricing the amd's fx8350 is priced at 189 dollars actually 190 dollars don't look at 99 and intel is 335 dollars so that's a substantial amount of difference that's about 145 dollars of difference not exactly double but it's roughly 70 or 80 percent higher like i said if you are really short of your budget and really want a cheaper system with discrete graphics for gaming you may want to consider amd's fx 8350 but if you can afford a little higher like 150 dollars more then intel will save you some money in long run on on electricity it requires less cooling it's a decent processor you can even overclock it if you need to and that will make it an overall better system at 150 dollars extra price so depending upon your budget or what you need to achieve you can look for one or the other processor. Hope that this comparison was helpful for you.